Hey, uh, one and all, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect on the Serious JG. Mass Effect is my favorite game in the Mass Effect series, although I do like the other two. Despite the fact that they could be called Ass Effect, woo! No, but seriously, um, that was super lame. But uh, Mass Effect is my favorite game, so I'm going to enjoy this. I'll be interested and anxious to hear what other people think as far as which game is your favorite. This game does probably have the clunkiest combat mechanics, but... That's not my main reason for digging games, so... Ooh. Might be able to do some damage before, uh... Oh, what the hell? That did, like, no damage. Sniper rifle doesn't hurt it any more than anything else does. Sniper rifle is supposed to be all badass. There would appear to be very little point in trying to kill this thing from a distance. And yet, now I'm kind of determined. Man, these Xbox controllers burn through the batteries. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't really be worth the effort. I guess if they just keep coming one at a time like that, like, this could work. Maybe this is a good way to make sure we don't get overwhelmed. Did that do extra damage? I could swear the first shot we fired at it, the assassination skill didn't help. Well, we've got another hostile heading toward... Well, it's not moving, but... Another one of them has woken up. Yeah, I was thinking that this would be the last video of the Pharos mission, but this might push things out to two videos. If I insist on sniping the node. You guys take care of that guy for me. Thanks. I knew you could. I think that did do extra damage. I think this thing can absorb a lot of punishment. Who just came to life? You came to life. But not for long. They can't shoot with any accuracy from that range, but it's nice that they tried. It would be nice to thin this herd out as much as possible. Oh, not a good time to overheat. Oh, well, whatever. They can take care of him. There we go. I figured it would be another sorry clone, but maybe not. Or maybe we just didn't get close enough to trigger it. I'm cool with that. Ha uh ha. -huh. God damn it, haven't I killed enough of you? Hey, she's not green. I'm free. I I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Thank you for releasing me. I will level you up. Are you okay? Is everything alright? Are you hurt? But hurt. I am fine. Or I will be. In time. Yeah, then, My name is Shiala. I serve. I I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Seemed like a good idea Benezia at the time. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Yeah, whatever. We're totally gonna kill her. Kind of vaguely forgot about this, otherwise I might have brought Liara along. But I need to bring Liara along for the next plot mission. I don't really want to overuse her, because she's born. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. We know about Saren's ability to control minds. <laughs> they apparently she has. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Like baked beans. They will cause you to backfire, Shepard. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Ah, she's a lame -o. 
Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship. Yeah, Troy was always getting seen. taken over. Whoa. He calls it Sovereign. Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. What? They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. What? I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn sounds, its secrets. Sounds sexy. The willing slave. Me in yeah. trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Serves you right, bitch. Wait a second. Hold on. Saren has mind control power? Or wait, his his ship? If you go on board Saren's ship, he takes over your mind? What the? Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. Kind of a jerk, that guy. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Presumably so Saren we wouldn't find out about all this. Conduit. He knows you're following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. Are we supposed to know what the cipher is? Did I talk over whatever dialogue explains that? What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? What do you know the about The beacon cipher? on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. Mm -hmm. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must Is understand it true that Prothean only fight back? Very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. The built this city. them. When they died, it the consumed them. They became part of it. Enough mystic crap. And pizza. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? Good question. The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. Hmm. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean It would be like explaining stank to a creature with no nose. I sense nose. this ancestral memory. Mm -hmm. The cipher. With when my I eyes. With the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. So are you going to have, like, a Thorian baby now? With the Asari uh, intertwingle, intertwingle, intertwine and intermingle their minds. Intertwingle. It's a combination of uh, intertwine and intermingle. They intertwingle their minds with different species and then have Asari that pick up the traits of whatever. So now she's going to have, like, Thorian babies? I need that knowledge to stop Sarah. He's a jerk. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Sarah. Falcon mind belt, huh? Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Uh huh. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp like, the threads that bind us. He's serious with crap. We, we don't get to decide whether or not we want to do this. Every idea must touch another mind. We learn. trust her? She Each told us she was Saren's willing to slave. Spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Luminous beings Open are we. To the universe, Embrace it. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees. There was a cataclysm, but now we can see planets glowing red and a lobster. Man, you're a sick puppy. I read some of your thoughts. You're a perv, man. All right, cool. That was that was great. I'm glad I we did all this. Cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Hmm. What just happened? Are you okay? Bust our wolf. She messed up my mind. Ugh. Like, I'm, seriously, there's no point where we get to decide whether or not we want to do that. Because the plot really wouldn't work if we said no. But still, it's like this agent of Saren's who has already revealed that she was his willing slave. It's like, I'm totally cured now. Now you can trust me. But, um, uh, let me enter your own brain. I saw something. It still didn't make any sense. This cipher sucks. You have been given a great gift. Oh, whatever. The experience of an entire people. Yeah, kind of and a loser people, but... It will take time for your mind to process this information. You're only a dumbass human. Rough. 
We should get you back to the ship. Wait, I'm princess. sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. I I have high hopes that this is a conversation that I I'm always thinking of when I play this game. What else can you tell me about Saren? Eh, close. There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he's dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. No, that sounds fun. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Ah, oh, damn it. Sovereign when does he say alien. the thing about Sovereign I Saren's flagship? I thought that was, was here. Or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known space-faring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. So... I won't tell you whether I was right or wrong, but I remember the first time I played through the game. At this point, I really began to suspect that this Sovereign thing is uh, going to be a lot more dangerous than Saren is. <laughs> Saren seems to have found some kind of super evil death machine, but... I mean, what the hell is it? You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. You know, it tells them that they the can have free rides on it if they do what he says. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. What about Venezia? Saren's matriarch. I want to know more about Venezia. She cute. Venezia was greatly respected among our people. For some a reason. Powerful biotic, even for an Asari. By your standards, she she's like a freaking god. You guys suck. Religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. Uh -huh. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Backfired, like Tally said, like eating a bunch of baked beans. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. Pretty much. I already as I admitted this. Before, yeah, as, as I mentioned, mentioned before, Saren. we've been over this. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? It's not when fun to be stuck up its ass like I, I was. Part of it, but I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. So awesome. Its exact age is so impossible Toyota. to know. It measured time differently. And 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. Its mind it was awesome! And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. Ah, uh, sorry. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. Where is George Burns? I'm grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Yep. Is there anything else you can when tell the me? When the its exact, its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it was an abomination. They. The Undead unit from Warcraft 3. Thing dead and gone. The Thorin was a unique life form. Oh, okay, so I'm it doesn't even... I'm grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing Do you like taking long me. walks on the beach? Or? I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her. Learning There's nothing feet. unique about me. I uh, joined with an ancient and powerful life form and have knowledge no one else has, but there's nothing Only unique. those who were willing had to follow her. Uh -huh. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. We formed a girl. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. There were too many lies. Okay, so now this is a bigger choice than you would realize. Uh, this makes a difference, you know, minor difference. Again... Non voice acted text and quote war assets, which ultimately mean very little. But uh, this choice I came to realize earlier today while playing Mass Effect 3 actually makes a difference. Because uh, although you can't necessarily tell from the dialogue, 
I'm pretty sure you kill her if you just say this. And if you let her go, you're just being a nice guy. Letting the people who used to work for Saren go, not always a good idea. But we're going to let her go. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? Kill you? I still serve Saren. It, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. All right, so I guess this is the real decision point. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Maybe you can bring Thank that one dude back to life. May Shot fortune himself. Smile upon you. Fortune favors the bold, baby. Uh, you did it. But the Thorian gone. We you teleported to me before I could get all of my different, you know, what do you call them, um, we're back to being just a little textures in place. Thank you, Commander. So I do need to level up because I leveled up from rescuing. Now we got another five thousand uh, after all that nonsense, but we're now very, very close to finishing off sniper rifles. And at that point, I will have to make a tough decision between pistols, tactical armor, or getting down here to commando, where I start increasing weapon stuff and can move towards assassin specialization, which will reduce recharge time of stuff and. Just make me totally badass. And of course, Spectre Training, because that increases damage of powers. Increases accuracy, which is really good for sniper rifles, of course. Uh, what were we doing with you? I don't even remember. Probably we were working on... Uh, Dad will work on your shotgun. I think she uses shotguns most of the time. And Kaiden, this is going to be Lif Mr. Lifto, basically. So there we are, folks. We have some chit chat to do with the locals, but basically, this one's over. It'll be tough going, but we'll make this oh. a home. You saved most of the infected. All of them. Time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. Hey, we're the three suitors. Oh, back so Jenny learned their lesson. You guys aren't even angry? Yeah, whatever. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable. Once I guess we have another chance to return the data to him uh, at this point if we want to. So there's a bunch of nameless refugees. You don't have to live like a refugee. I don't believe like a refugee. So what does this even refer to now? Oh, Gavin Hustle. Alrighty. Yo, oh, Mendez. She's probably got something I to say. So no. Hard, I mean, thought of my own caused so much pain. I took it out on you. I'm sorry. I'm a bitch. Uh, no. I, when I said she does have something to say, but I thought she might have like actual real dialogue. I will do no. what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. And same crap as before. Farewell, Shiela. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. That dog will hunt, Commander. So, oh, cool. The, uh, oh, Ledra's still around. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous you infection, have no chance but under the Thorian's soldier. influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I Get may out stay, here. try to recover my I losses. guess not. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. He always has some excuse for hanging around to be a shopkeeper. Mm. Let's double check. Let me sure he's not selling anything that he didn't have of before. Course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. But probably not. Eh, goodbye, new stuff. Basically, I was checking to see if he had new licenses. There was no reason he would. And he didn't. So, yeah. Thank you for everything you did. But not for anything you're going to do. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. It's pretty awesome, dude. You rock, Commander. You like Star Commander. I'm free. I'm free. Thank you for everything you tried to do. Even though you failed, apparently. Free. I can't believe I'm free. I'm free. Something, something, and boo, the reality. I'm free. Finally, I'm free. Alright, you got anything? Oh, 
I might actually have dialogue options here. Weird. Oh, once again, you actually can still finish these. Qu oh, I'm not gonna bother to talk to you. If you haven't done, well, no. I'll give her a chance to. But yeah, if you if you didn't do those little side quests about hunting Baron or whatever, you still get to do it now. So that's nice. You're not locked out of any of the side quests just because you killed the Thorian. Oh, we finished all the side quests, so there's no point in hanging around. We're done with this planet, folks. We're done with Pharos. I'm 90% uh, sure that we're done with Pharos for the rest of the Mass Effect series. You will occasionally hear news of Pharos in your inbox in the games that feature email inboxes. How oh, an irritating thing to add to a game. It's like, I... Just because I get stuck on the idea that I have to do everything that's possible to do in a game, I, I remember uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, it was like maddening to me that you had cell phones and you had to return everybody's texts when they wanted to hang out and go bowling. That's how I feel about the email in this game. You have to read every email that comes in. It's like, I have to do that at work. Why do I have to do that in a space action video game? Deal with freaking emails that I'm not interested in. Stand by Band. shore party. Decontamination Decontamination rocks. Decontamination in progress. As I previously mentioned. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? Well, listen, you're blue. I mean, what the hell is that? A oh. I was brain probed. It has raped my mind. The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. Get I am away. an expert on the Protheans. No, you're if not. I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Bore, get it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Let's do it right now, you and me. Ashley, look away, because I'm going to want to do it with you later, and I don't want Relax, this to upset Commander. you. Embrace eternity. Luminous beings, are we? Etc. Etc. Man, I hope that that sorry chick that got cloned a bunch of times doesn't have, like, brain herpes, because if so, now Shepard just pass it on to Liara. That was incredible. All this was time, it good all for my you, research, Shepard? I, I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so Somebody intense. says something to defuse this you crap. You are remarkably strong-willed, oh, Commander. God. What you have been through... What you have seen would have destroyed a I'm pretty mind. awesome, aren't I? Come on, get to the point. What <laughs> did you see? <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The Action. data transferred into the commander's Two. mind is incomplete. Crap. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? I would have told you, dumbass. Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. But apparently they look like lobsters. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. Mm -hmm. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. That sucks. Well... Let's think about this. Sentient machines... Uh... We already knew that. But now you're talking about them again. When we just recently learned that Saren has found some kind of spaceship which controls people's brains. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Mm -hmm. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. Whoa. I'm sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should My go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Whatever. Weak ass bitch. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. And me. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. <laughs> your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge I myself in your was mind. was on top, Drown riding you like a cowgirl. It is more difficult than it looks. Yeah. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. Well, I do got the big one. We're done here. 
Dismissed. Get the fuck out of here, you dumbass blue bitch. I sent off the Ferris Sorry. report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Absolutely, because while somebody mentioned that it's generally a good idea to ignore these dumbass bitches, I'm using that word a lot in this episode, I do kind of want to show kids the dialogue. Patch them through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenia should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. Mm -hmm. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Hey, look. Listen, you... Damn, I knew they'd find some fault with what we did. We were never given the option to not kill the Thorian by the game. This is one of those the game forces you into a situation in which then other characters in the game criticize you over. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. You got something to of say, painty face? Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. That bastard saving innocence, fuck him! Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. I'm taking the Paragon path, Commander. buddy. We will be waiting for your next report. Yeah. Did I mention fuck the, th the uh, Torian Ambassador? Did I happen to mention that he's an enormous asshole? So, we got a little ways to go before the next, next level, uh, but when we get there, we're going to max out sniper rifles, which would be awesome. And then, pff, by then, we may or may not be forced to spend another point on charm. But the timing here is actually fairly good, because what I really need to do at this point, um, like we're right at the end of a, a video as we finish the mission, so that's the next one. Uh, we can have another mission, or another video, our next video will probably be, uh, Normandy Chit Chat. I don't want to go too long before my next plot video, because I know people get a bit antsy when the plot gets delayed for a long time. But I feel like we pretty much have to, um, do some, um, of the character missions, like Garrus wants to get Dr. What's-His-Name, Dr. Hart, Rex wants his family, or Armor. Callie has a mission that she hasn't told us about yet, but I believe we did in this last mission on Pharos what we need to trigger it. Uh, I might be wrong about that. Either way, we just gotta keep doing stuff and chatting with her and eventually she'll tell us, hey, pilgrimage time, let's do some shit for my pilgrimage. But uh, yeah, what I really need to do off camera is sell, sell, sell. So I'm going to do that off camera to avoid boring you to death, because in the last couple of videos you did have to sit there while I went through the exciting process of turning stuff to Omnigel. So I will spare you the the sales bit. Sound just got funny. This might be a good time to stop the recording anyway, because uh, something has happened weird to, to the sound. I don't know if it happened in the video or if it's just the way that I'm hearing it in my sound setup, but I'm going to stop now before something blows up. I'm Mysterious JG. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.